Dana, I love you more than words can express, and I am the luckiest man on this planet to get to call you my wife. Years ago when you took me in, like a possibly flea-ridden cat, to now have come to see the love and joy you express through life. I cannot wait to spend the rest of my life with you, and of course Miller, our ungrateful, lovable pup. <laughs> No matter what happens in the future, I know we will make it through whatever life throws at us. So be ready. Drink this in because I'm like a student loans. You can't get rid of me. <laughs> if there's one thing that I know about you is that you don't like people making promises about the future. So instead of doing that, I want to tell you what my intentions are of marrying you. I intend to grow so old, wrinkly, and fat with you that we look back on photos from today and we barely recognize ourselves after a lifetime of stories and adventures. I intend on continuously trying to be open and honest with you and admit my shortcomings even when things get hard to talk about. I intend on turning to you when I am stressed out so I can mirror the grace and patience that you show when you deal with life's problems. I intend on raising a family with you and watching our kids take after their dad. <laughs> but most of all, I intend on waking up every morning and showing you how much I love you because you truly make me a better person. It is with, oh my goodness, great excitement to now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. You know, this is a time in a father's life where he thinks back about the times in the past and reminisces on all those wonderful memories that he shares with his daughter. And indeed, that's the case for me. But what's really important is not all the memories, it's what you've become. And you just become a wonderful person. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Steve. I've been fortunate enough to have Jared as one of my best friends since sixth grade. He is one of the most funny, genuine, outgoing, loyal people you ever meet. And I have, and I have seen how he carries that trace over for his love for Dana. All that being said, I'm extremely happy for both of you. And, and I just know you guys will take awesome care of each other. And here's to many, many years of happiness. I, Honestly, love you both. I met Dana at work and instantly became obsessed with her. I mean, how could you not? And decided we need to be best friends. So I'm standing here rambling because I have the honor of being Dana and Jared's maid of honor. I say both Dana and Jared because I'm basically the permanent third wheel of this relationship. But when Dana told me she met someone who's smart, funny, nice, and attractive, it's like, oh my God, finally. I honestly can't remember what happened to that guy, but uh, Jared, you're a way better cook, so I'm glad she chose you. I want to thank you for allowing me and everyone else here to be able to share this amazing, perfectly planned day, great job, and the delicious food. Jared, please make sure you thoroughly chew your steak because Dana did not account for any emergency trips to patient first and she definitely did not bring you another change of pants. Congratulations, and thanks for always letting me third wheel pretty much every single one of your dates and vacations. I love you guys. Here's to forever.